Accurate fitting is critical to the quality of vision obtained with any spectacles. The method used should be carried out with care and be seen to be done in this way. Shortcut methods, such as dotting with a felt tip pen, have been shown to be less accurate. And they stand in stark contrast to the care taken by optometrists and the quality of the equipment they use in their consulting rooms. Just have a seat there. Thank you. You might like to look at some of these frames actually. Is there any there that you think you might like? Uh, yeah, there's a few there actually. What about those ones there? Those they look ones? quite good. Yes. They actually look like they'd suit the shape of your face quite nicely, so we'll have a look. It's very important to ensure that the frame is in its final fitting position before you take any measurements. Okay, just have a look at yourself in the mirror and see mm -hmm. what you think. Yeah, they look quite nice. Yes, mm. I think they're good. All right. The corneal reflex pupillometer is the only instrument designed to measure the distance between the visual axes and not just the distance between the pupil centres. Before you take the distance PD, set the working distance knob to infinity. Now I just want you to look through this. Just Think of it as a pair of binoculars. You'll see a green ring of light and in the centre there's a white light. Mm -hmm. I want you to just look at that white light for me. Mm -hmm. The black line should pass through the very centre of the reflex on the client's cornea. The dispenser now flicks the occluder lever across to measure the other eye. That's good. Now I'm going to do the other eye. Right. The first alternative for step three is to draw your own graticule on the inserts with the help of a parallel rule. The book gives details on how to do this. Several lens companies produce parallel rules for this purpose. We show two options here. The centration gauge and the die test. The second alternative for measuring heights is the eye point gauges from Hoyer. While these stickers are intended for the mirror method, they can also be used for this purpose. A third method involves two small height rules, such as those from Hilco. These are positioned in the bottom rim of the frame and clip around the top rim. Finally, we have a new gauge called the HMS or Height Measurement System from Essilor. This gauge clips onto the frame and the scales can be wound up and down until the top of the scale is in line with the reference point, which, in the case of progressives, is the centre of the pupil. OK, John, I just wanted to get some measurements for your new lenses. Would you put those on for me, please? Yep. Okay, now you're sitting comfortably It's there. vital that you make sure you're at the same height as your client. Use a wall mirror to do this if you can. Now I want you to look into my left eye. Mm -hmm. A pen torch can help illuminate the cornea and provide a corneal reflex as a good reference point. That's good. Now look into my right eye. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's excellent. Okay, now um, I want to talk to you a little bit about your progressive lenses, the new lenses you're going to get. You've never had those before, no, I believe. The dispenser needs the client to relax okay. to ensure well, that their posture is natural. When being measured in step four, they may be sitting up straight and not in the natural position. Really good. The dispenser does this by engaging the client in conversation while continuing to note the positions of the markings. I'm just going to check now, John, that these lenses are suitable for these frames. Mm -hmm. Order the lens position according to your monocular PDs and the heights according to the final position of the marking. The height should be measured relative to the deepest point of the lens at the peak of the bevel. Mm 